Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, we're out foraging again. We've just tapped a birch, so we've got an hour or two to wait until it's uh, it's given us a lot of its sap. So in the meantime, we've come to look for some other things. And down here, we've got one of our favourite spring plants. Now, it's uh, I think it's the 11th of March today. So we're kind of getting late into spring. But this is a plant that comes up in March and it will go right through to June, start flowering uh, generally around early May. Uh, this is Pignut, Conopodium Magus. Uh, called Pignut because pigs absolutely love the nut that's underground on the uh, root system of this plant. Now it is in the Umbellifa family, the carrot family, and you can see it does look quite a lot like a young carrot. But what we've got to do is get underground on this plant to show you what we want as a forager. Now we're on private property here. Um, otherwise I wouldn't really do this because you're not supposed to uproot any plants from common land according to the Countryside Act. Um, so here on private property with the landowner's permission we can do what we want to. I've just fashioned a little digging stick here. You don't really need to but it does help. What I've got there is the young stem of the plant and what I want to do is without breaking it just gently dig around it and follow it down. Oh, I just broke another one. The ground's actually rather soft here, so what I'm gonna do is start using my fingers. Okay. Right. Ah, it goes a little bit further. Normally, the nut will be within a couple of inches of the surface. Sometimes you have to dig down a little bit further. But here we go. This is what you're after. Now, that there is a young, medium-sized pig nut. They do get golf ball size, found them even bigger. This one would have grown for the next month or so and then when the plant starts to flower uh, it takes the energy from the, the nut shaped root uh, and uses that to produce its white umbellifer flower. So at that point the plant will get to about a foot and a half tall and uh, the nut will start to shrink. So we prefer to collect these nuts in March and April. That's when they're at their biggest and tastiest. So what we do once we've got our pig nut is with your nail just kind of scrape off the skin skin doesn't taste particularly good and if you scrape off the skin with your nail you get all the mud off too a bit of a tedious process but worth it in the end because what you've got is a nut that tastes like a cross between a hazelnut and a sweet chestnut a nice crunchy texture. You can't really roast these or or use them in cooking. Still a little bit of mud left on it but there we go that's my pig nut ready for me to munch. Mm, really really juicy at this time of year. We do love pig nuts. When you find them in small patches please leave them behind because like wild garlic and other plants this is a, a plant that we find quite often in patches of even tens of thousands of the plant. We, uh, we run a course around Wallingham and we walk over a patch of pig nut in spring where we've estimated there'd be, there must be something like 100,000 plants there. And because you're pulling the plant up, you know, you are killing it. So don't take from places where you only see one or two of the plant. We know this wood. It's our next door neighbour's wood, so we know it quite well. And uh, we know that this, over the next month or so, is going to turn into a carpet of pig nut. So I really have no problem with taking one or two for a nice little treat. Uh, there you go, pig nut, Conopodium magus, one of our favourite spring treats. If you want to find out more about foraging, come on one of our courses or go to www.wildfooduk.com.